Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that's the, that does the best <laughs> makeup content. Jesus. And today, as normal, I think I'm going to do kind of like a get red with me. I never know with myself when I start to record what it's going to get out of this, but I think I'm going to do a thread with me today and I'm going to use the Velvet Dusk from Lethal. This was one of their pre-made palettes inspired by the 90s grunge and yeah, I want to use this. I haven't played with this that much so I'm going to use this today. I'm not completely sure what I'm going to do though but I have some ideas. Okay, so for my eyeshadow I'm going to go in with another shade from Lethal. I don't know the name of this, but I think what do I want to use that? I'm going to use this one. I can write down in the description what the shade is called. Um, but I'm going to use this in my crease. So the thing I have been thinking about talking a little bit about and this get rid with me is getting older. And I don't know when this video will come up, but when I'm recording this, it's uh, my the day after my birthday. And uh, yeah, I am uh, one year older <laughs> than I was the last time you saw me. And uh, I turned 33. Yes. And maybe I'm not I'm not old, but I'm I'm getting older as you usually do and I've been really starting to like to getting older I I don't know it just feels good I remember like the excitement when I first turned 18 because in Sweden when you turn 18 you are allowed to go out to bars and go out to clubs and uh, stuff like that and when you are turning 20 you are allowed to buy alcohol at the liquor store and that was really exciting and then i didn't like <laughs> to have my birthday anymore because it wasn't nothing more that you were like looking forward to to do but then something like changed when I, I think it was maybe when I turned 31 or 32, so one or two years ago, I really like starting to like to have my birthday again and didn't mind to get older. And I don't know why, I don't know if I'm that more comfortable with myself than I was when I was younger. Maybe a little bit, but at the same time, no. So if I'm trying to like, think about what is different between the 33 year old me and maybe you should say 23 year old me, I think I'm more like accepted who I am as a person and like my, I'm not personality, but I have accepted more the way I am and more the way I work. And maybe I do feel better about myself. So my confidence and my self-esteem, maybe it's called, isn't that good, but I think it's getting better and I think I'm more like finding out who I want to be and how I want to look. I am nowhere near like finished with it. I'm not, but I'm starting to feel more comfortable with who I am and I'm giving <laughs> less and less shit about other people. I still 
not that good at that, but I want to be better and better to not give a shit what other think of me. It's hard, but I'm getting there and yeah, I actually start to like to getting older. I didn't thought I was going to do that, but I do. And I know there is a lot of times when people talk about that they want to go back to maybe the early 20s or when they were like 17. I would not do that. I have for a long time like really wanted to redo my 20s because my early 20s or like the whole of my 20s was filled with anxiety anxiety and the not doing things that I wanted to do but now the older I am I'm like more comfortable that maybe that things that everybody did that I wanted to do but I didn't do Maybe it wasn't for me. Maybe I'm just not that kind of person. And it feels really good to come to that conclusion. Like, yeah, other people love to do that. I do not. And uh, I'm happy that I don't do it. So I think I'm just going... Or I hope that I will be more and more comfortable with myself and with who I am. Maybe it will turn like 180 tomorrow when I feel like shit, I don't know. But right now, it feels kind of good actually. And uh, if you have seen my other Get Red With Me's that I've done when I've talked about how I feel and uh, yeah, stuff like that. Um, it, not, it haven't been the best at times, but now it's starting to get better actually and I don't know like my mom was here this weekend and I took this day off it's Monday today when I'm filming and I took this day off and I did really need this I feel now when I have been home this day um, my boyfriend also took this day off so we did eat breakfast and played some games with my mother and then we took her to the train and then we've been grocery shopping and I've been editing a little bit and I'm sitting here and filming and now I really feel like I I really need the, this day to not go to work because you know my work situation right now it's not that good and uh, it is totally like drain me and uh, I think I'm really close to my breaking point and <laughs> yeah and I don't know if I have updated you on this one and so sorry if you don't do I look my posture is a little bit off I don't know if I have said this but it was supposed to be 10 weeks uh, that I was going to do other things at work that I normally don't do but it has uh, it's going to be 12 weeks and uh, if it's going to be more than 12 weeks I am not going to make it <laughs> I think I might but <laughs> as I feel right now it's like I'm not going to make it if it's going to be even 12 weeks in one day nope. Uh, nope. but today I actually feel I feel really really good. I don't know now if I'm going to... I was planning on taking this one, the pink one, but I don't know if that is going to look totally off even for me. I take, the, I take this one instead. I don't think I ever have used that one. Um. Yeah, but today I'm feeling good and I felt good this whole weekend, which I usually don't do. Um, 
But yeah, this whole weekend, I guess it was because my mom was here. And if you didn't know, does my family live five hour drive from here? And because of all the panini fingers, I don't see them that much. So it felt really good to meet, to have my mom here again. And just to... What I wanted to say is that I have felt really, really good this weekend. And also today, I guess it's going to feel totally different, totally different tomorrow. But I really hope that it will continue like this because it feels good to you. I feel a little bit more like myself today. I'm not super tired, not super annoyed. Uh, so that feels really good. And I really hope that <laughs> these feelings will stay. Okay, what do I think about this look? Is it what I wanted it to be? I actually have no idea. But I think I like it. It looks a little bit crunchy. And this is, as usual, a really confusing get ready with me, it feels like. It feels like I talk about nothing or everything. I, I just don't know. But <laughs> what I do know is I'm going to take away my fallouts. I will fix my base and then I come back. Because I don't think... Should I do my base on camera, but I don't really know what to talk about. And I know if I'm going to record a super long video and then I have to edit it and upload it, I'm going to not do it and it will take like three weeks. So maybe it's better that I do my base off cam. I'm finished with the look and for my waterline I did use one from Colourpop that is called Wildcat. And on my lips I took LH Cosmetics Majestic and Mellow Mauve. And this is one of my favorite lipsticks right now. I do love it so, so much. So yeah, this is my finished look with the Well, well Wet well wet Dusk from Lethal and also Single Shade. And yeah, I do like this look. I don't know. It wasn't what I was planning. I was planning on taking pink shimmer, but I think this was... So much better and it is a little bit crunchy and I do like it. And yeah, I guess that was all for this video. This get read with me and I didn't get out that much that I wanted to talk about. But at the same time, I don't want to make a super long video because it's going to take longer for me to come out with video and edit it and stuff like that but I just wanted to like, I don't know I feel like everybody or a lot of people do like glorify the younger years like between maybe 17 and 25 like that was the best time in their life it wasn't the best time in my life I think I have won I, I think I'm in a better place now in my life than I was five years ago or ten years ago. And I actually think that I like to get older. I don't mind it. And I just hope that I will find myself more and more and more. And I do think it helps really, really much to follow people that are older than me or the same age and I don't know when it was but it was a couple of months ago I started to follow an account on Instagram grey hairs and two I think maybe I should, maybe I should look these things up yeah grey hair and the two Lani um and she's older than me she's over 50 but I really do like to follow her, like to see it's never too late. You can always find who you are later in life. And I 
maybe I should have talked about this one so I want to do my makeup but I feel like for us that are older than the normal influencer span like older than 30 it feels like you need to find your own place in the influencer world to get inspired because I do not I have had this problem when I started my YouTube channel I was already older than the most like Swedish YouTuber are at least and also like on Instagram I cannot or it's hard for me to get inspiration from somebody that is like 21 and uh, looks 21 because I do not look 21 and I really do like that it's more okay now to be older and doing things makeup whatever fashion videos so I think it's good to get surrounded like that okay now I'm I don't know what I'm talking about anymore and I think I could have done a completely other video on this topic maybe it will come later on now it's just a mishmush in my head I am still still <laughs> I am still tired um, I'm feeling better today, but it's two more weeks at work Then hopefully this shit is over and hopefully I can go back to my normal self find like somewhat a filming routine because now it's Not good. I It's like I've given up on YouTube. I haven't uh, I hope <laughs> but yeah, Okay, I think I just should stop this here. Maybe when I have things more sorted in my head maybe it will come a video about this subject I have done a tag that was called ageless beauty tag my friend Debbie from Vion Beauty did make her own tag I can leave it up here and I can leave Debbie down in the description but yeah I think I just should shut it and um, whenever better up here and whenever I can collect my thoughts a little bit better maybe it comes a new video on this but okay I'm going to end this now I do hope you liked this video and I hope I'll see you in the next one bye